Good morning Mac and Media family. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another media. I apologize if you hear a couple of background noises because they're cutting the trees around our apartment because they were supposed to do it like a year ago I think and I guess now's when they're starting to do it. But that's what it is but uh, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another media. I just finished getting a haircut and now I have to go drop off the car at a dealership so that they can fix the hook on the hood of my car. It's called a hood latch. If you guys saw the last video that we posted, I explained to you guys how I've been having some issues with that, but fortunately I'm going to get it taken care of. We also have an update on the wedding bands, on the situation of the wedding bands. Ash is not here at home right now. Uh, she's working. I got the day off today to do a bunch of errands. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to give you guys an update on the band a little bit later on during the video. So stick through so you guys can find out if we got their bands, if we didn't get the bands. This whole story has been just crazy it's been a headache it's been such a mission it's been over stress that i don't think we need on top of all the stress that we already have for the wedding i kind of feel like this is something that should have been handled properly but it is what it is hoping for the best praying for the best so yeah that's what this video will be about just errands update and blue i'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys a funny story or a funny thing that I do to watch games here. So you guys know I'm a huge sports fan, right? So I watch my games on the TV, on our 70 inch TV. I don't have a Bluetooth bar, like a sound bar. I don't have that yet. I wanna get one soon, right? Right here, Ash has this garland for the fall. But here in the middle, you guys see this JBL uh, speaker that my stepdad got me like a couple years ago. It actually works really good. So what I do is I connect this Bluetooth speaker to the TV when I'm going to watch games and stuff. Or even movies. If we're going to watch a movie or something, I like to put the speaker. I put it here in the middle. And I promise you, you can tell the difference from the TV sound to the speaker sound. It sounds more loud uh, and obviously if you move this like let's say if you want to be in the in the couch I'll just move it over and have it like around me or whatever it just it gives me like that movie theater vibe until I get an actual sound bar that is what I use that's funny story and very random but I wanted to share that with you guys some blue think this is a perfect time to play well, maybe it is normally brings it back to me and let's play Oh, someone slipped. See, I don't know if you guys can see it. There you have the truck cutting the trees. And uh, yeah, they've been doing this since I think two days already. And I think our ne the next project that they have is this tree right here, which this is our parking spot right here, but we never park there because this tree gets our car so, so dirty from everything that falls in the tree and the leaves and everything. So we always park on the visitor side, but Hopefully they get this tree taken care of. They, they take it out because they said they were going to remove it a long time ago and it's still nothing. So I will take you guys to the dealer. You guys will be going with me to the dealer, but I'm going to take my phone because I don't want to take my camera because they're going to keep my car. I might have to take an Uber back. I don't want to be with the camera there, <laughs> but I'll take you guys and I'll film with my phone. They used to offer Uber. Like they used to offer Uber for customers like hey we'll take you back home and then we'll let you know when the car is ready and then you can come back but they took that off already so there's no transportation or anything they do have rental cars i'm not gonna rent a car just for a day that's i'd rather just pay for the uber to come back home when ash gets back from work then we can go and pick up the car i'm on my way to the dealership and i gotta say today's day is beautiful there's not one cloud in the sky i wish ash was off wow beautiful day today just waiting for Caesar to come. That's my advisor. Get the car in, get the Uber, and go back home. The reason why I'm dying to just get this fixed is because I can't open the hood, which means I have no more washer fluid and I don't I have to fix something for the battery. I haven't been able to do that either because I can't open the hood. So hopefully, I mean, I already have the piece. I just got to give it to them, let them know that I bought it from Toyota, and then let's see how much it is to install it all right guys so we made it back home from the dealership i left the car there because the guy told me it was going to take about an hour and a half to three hours so he wasn't really sure exactly how long it was going to take so i decided to just take an uber back home uber has gotten expensive for a one-way trip and i promise you this is probably like a six or seven mile drive 17 dollars just for that i was like wow but I had no other option because I wasn't going to stay there for like three to four hours. So what is for lunch today? We have some Spam right here. 
If you guys haven't tried spam, you guys gotta try spam. I don't care. It is fire. We got some black beans. And at the moment, we're cooking up some rice. So we're just waiting for the rice to finish. All right, guys, so it's a little later today, currently on the phone with Macy's customer service. Apparently, they said that our refund got approved, but we don't have any email, like any confirmation or anything. So we're still waiting. We asked her, like, when did it get approved? Like, what's going on? What's the time frame for the refund? And she said, hold on. And we've been on the phone for like, I think, what, like five, six minutes? By the way, Ash is back from work trying to get this result I'm frustrated yeah but uh keep you guys posted let's see what they say all right guys so we have a full update on to what's going on and what's the situation so far so we just came back from the postal office again because we went yesterday but this time they confirmed uh that apparently the package is lost they don't know where the package is they told us to file a claim online but the problem is is that macy's sent it out with no insurance and didn't give us an option to put insurance on it so we cannot file a claim like it tells us online you are not able you are not eligible to file a claim because the package does not have insurance so manager did not want to come out or i should say as per the representative they were not able to come out because they were in a meeting so they told us to go uh go by tomorrow morning around 8 30 a.m and speak with the manager directly the morning manager um about the situation at this point i have no idea what's going to happen macy's we spoke to them again because they denied it again they, they denied a, re a refund twice already uh so we spoke to a supervisor and we advised her the situation same thing back and forth it's just it's like a ping pong ball it's just back and forth they, they don't give us any resolution so um i don't know i guess we'll have to go tomorrow and see what they say but at this point we I don't know. It's just it's just messed up. It's a lot of money. And another thing that is kind of weird is that the postal the postal man that I spoke with here said that the package had no apartment number, so he was going to go back to check and see where the package was, but we just went to the post office and they said that there was an apartment number. So I don't know like I don't want to assume anything, but at, at this point it's just no, nothing's adding up. So We'll keep you guys posted on what's the next step or what happens tomorrow, but it is what it is. This is the situation right now, and we're just trying to make sure that we just at least get the refund. That's literally, we don't even care about the rings anymore. We just want to make sure we get the money so that we can get other rings. Yeah, I couldn't help it. I was so frustrated. I, I broke down. As you should. I mean, this I is ridiculous. Crying. I broke down. I'm like, it's for my wedding. <laughs> you know, like, it's if it was a small amount, you right. know, maybe we can you know brush it under the rug but it's a pretty heavy amount and then it's for something that we we need you know we needed it so it's like i need either my money back so i can get it again or i don't even care if it magically shows up at this point at least i got what i paid for you right. know like whoever has it or wherever it is just like please either show up or somebody has to be responsible and just give me my money at this point if you ever receive anything in the mail from somebody else just give it back because you never know what that person's going through or what if how much how badly they need that yeah. you know yeah, you and it's like know. if somebody else would have gotten it they would you would think they would bring it back especially yeah, if you, you see its know. rings but whatever it's I mean, just a sticky it's a sticky situation all around because we're going round and round in circles literally yeah some people are saying one story another person saying another story but it's just it's a sticky situation all around it really sucks like fernie said it's literally going round and round and round in circles and i don't know it's just frustrating i i broke down i couldn't help it the man honestly it's really it's not his fault per se but he's just the only one that I can talk to at that time. And he was like, I really understand. Like, I understand your pain. I, you know, that's what he kept saying. But I, I get that you understand my pain, but I just need a resolution, you know? Like, yeah. at this point, I understand that people are sympathizing with me. But I want a solution to my problem, you know? Like, yeah, I think, I think we deserve an explanation. I'll say, like, I don't even, like, even if the package is lost, like, just somebody give me my money back. I don't, like, nobody wants to take responsibility. And I understand. To me, it's all on USPS. Yeah, to me too. Because Macy's, did, uh, it's, it's on both. Because Macy's, if it's, a, if it's something with such a high price, they have to put either insurance on it or... Give us an option. UPS, Tell us. Yes, like, say, hey, this needs to be delivered with a signature or, or at least a photo of where you're dropping it off. Right. Not just like a regular 
post uh, right. uh, post box or whatever. I guess you that's know? something for us to definitely think about the next time. Because I I would have never asked. This would have this doesn't. Like, I would have never thought to them. ask. <laughs> yeah. You know, like oh, can we put insurance on it, or is it gonna have a sign? Like I would have never thought to ask that. Maybe that was my bad because I've never had I've never ordered from Macy's from a representative there. You know, I've mm -hmm. always ordered online, if anything. Yeah. So, put insurance on your package. Pay that extra. Ten seven dollars, whatever it is. Make because sure it that is, it requires a signature. This is insane. This is insane. No. This is like stress. Like I was telling them, it's a stress that we don't need on top of everything that we already right. have. Like tomorrow, we have to go see how much the liquor is gonna be. That's well, it's another. You know, it's, where's the weekend? Yeah. Orlando. <laughs> We're, that's what we need right now because this is crazy. And even then, like I was uh. thinking about that. Like hopefully we don't think of. I hope. That this is resolved either by the time we go to Orlando or it's just out of my brain so I don't think about it. Like, I just need a distraction. <laughs> Done. I wish but it was that easy. <laughs> this was an update on the rings and uh, it was a, the, yeah, I, I don't know. I think a lot of people are on our journey, huh? Yeah, I'm uh, going to see if what happens tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully they're able to give us like some sort of notification saying that, yeah, USPS lost your package so that... At least... Yeah. Maybe we can at least, I don't know, call Macy's, be like, hey, look, they're they're saying they lost it because that's another option we can do. We can call Macy's be like, hey, we have a note from our USPS postal office saying they lost the package. Right. So it's more proof. What do you want? What else do you need? Right. But we'll keep you guys posted. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Just pray for the best. And if you have a solution or you have an idea or you've been through something like that, please let us know because it's, it's frustrating to yeah. say the least. <laughs> it is. So thank you guys so much for joining on today's media. If you're new here, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you know what happens to these rings. And I just, at this point, I mean, I like the rings, but if we can just get the money back so we can just shop around, that would be great. We wish you guys can stay, but now it's time for you guys to go. We'll catch you guys on the next media.